You have to check out these fun and unique ways to use a Dollar Tree clear glass mug. These are some of my favorite DIYs yet. You're absolutely going to love them. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's jump into it. For this first mug DIY, I needed a red mug. Now on most of these projects, and maybe all of them I think, I did paint the inside. Now this is going to protect the paint a lot better than if I do paint the outside, and I do apply a few coats so that you're not able to see any brush strokes, but that's going to protect the paint. It works just for most of these projects. These are not food safe, so don't drink out of them. These are just decor purposes only, but really fun to put together. So did you know one of these cupcake shaped styrofoam pieces from the Dollar Tree fit perfect down inside one of these mugs and it allows you enough space to make some fake cocoa at the top. I am covering the entire top of this with some hot glue. Now I have a high temp glue gun and I try to do this as quickly as possible so it is going to all like melt down really quickly and be like a smooth top instead of being able to see each of the lines but if you can you can just take like a heat tool heat it back up so then you can just pick a cocoa color and paint that and now all I had on hand was was some um, like pink and then it dries white spackling. You can pick up white spackling at Dollar Tree. I just already had this huge container of it. So I put it in an icing bag with a star tip, put some icing on top, added in these little candy canes. These candy canes came from Walmart in the miniature little section, but you could use anything that you have. I know that Dollar Tree usually stocks some fake candy canes. They just didn't have them out at my store yet. And then all of this glitter and stickers and the little red like tubing that I used for spring all came from Dollar Tree but how cute is this it looks like the perfect little cocoa cup that you could put like on a cocoa bar but I love decorating with faux treats like this especially around Christmas time coming back in with some more cocoa color Paint. I love this territorial color um, apple barrel paint. I'm going to paint the entire thing this color and this is going to make the cutest little reindeer. Like I mentioned, I do like to do two coats because you can see all of these brush strokes. So after I get that completely coated, I picked out one of these big red buttons. I thought this would be so cute for the little nose or give him like a big red nose. So I'm using the back of a paintbrush, dipping that in black paint, giving it some big eyes. And then I will go back in with my paint marker to add in the little details. After you paint these, as long as you don't use Sharpie, you can spray paint over them with some clear coat to make sure nothing's going to scratch off. But the secret to making this reindeer really, really cute was giving him some big antlers. So I was originally looking for some actual antler shape pieces to put in there. But then I had this fun idea. I found these unique like little branches from Dollar Tree. They come in gold and silver. I love the gold. I feel like it looked a lot more Christmassy to me. I didn't like the fact that I had to add Spanish moss. I feel like it kind of dulled down the glam aspect of this reindeer. But that's the only thing that I could really find to use. I didn't want to use rocks. I didn't want to use green moss. So I covered that over with a bow and a bell. But at the end, I absolutely loved it. I don't even pay attention to the moss. But let me know if there's something that you would have used rather than the Spanish moss. I felt like the eyes were a little bit dull. So I gave them a little pop of light with just a white dot. But I absolutely love this. I think it's too cute. We are absolutely crazy about elf theme pieces in our house at Christmas time. So I knew I had to make an easy elf inspired mug. I started by painting it with this Christmas green color. And then Dollar Tree actually has out this like felt fabric, which works perfect for this. This like already looks like elf, <laughs> elf material to me, elf fabric. So all I did was kind of measure around how big I needed a piece to be, cut that down. And then I didn't get this perfect. I didn't measure anything. 
but I just started creating some triangles in this piece and this is just going to wrap around the top like the little elf costume. Now I did start using the same piece that I cut out for a pattern and then it kind of got old laying that out each time so I just eyeballed it but it turned out pretty good and then I'm going to be hot gluing some bells on the bottom so it's going to cover all of the imperfections but this was too cute. I loved it. Something that my girls love but even though you can't drink out of these I think they make the perfect candy dishes. I decided just to glue bells on every other little pointed piece of the felt, but Dollar Tree has tiny, tiny bells. You could do every one if you went with the tiny ones, but these were a little bit heavy, so I just went ahead and just did every other one. It worked out perfect. I love the way it looks. So I just hot glued the bell straight to the felt and the mug, but you also could just like sew it on there or actually hang it with a piece of string. Next we are making some more hot cocoa mugs but in a really fun unique way. So if you pick up some air clay or you can use model magic to make your own little marshmallows, these turn out so adorable and they're pretty easy just to kind of roll it in your hand and squish the top down and the hardest part I guess is just kind of getting the sizes to match. So I just had fun with this and while I already had my hands messy and this out I went ahead and just made a ton of them of the different sizes. Now this this tub was around five bucks but I made a lot of marshmallows and I still had like most of the tub left so your money goes really far and this is something that you can like involve your kids or something with but I went ahead and just made a ton of marshmallows these do look a little bit dark and they did lighten up whenever they dry but they are not as white as the model magic uh, but my store just didn't have any on hand so these did take um, overnight and maybe half the day the next day to kind of air dry so make them a day before and then just kind of doing the same thing I did before I absolutely love how this fits down in there perfect so once again sticking that little styrofoam piece down in there and then covering that with hot glue So even though this kind of looks like the first one, I did it way different. It turned out pretty cool. I did a couple of coats of this like beige cocoa color and then I did mix in some white so it did look like cocoa or coffee that had cream in it and actually looked like it had a little bit of like a realistic texture to it. And then I did something really fun and unique. I actually let this completely dry and then covered it with another coat of the hot glue and let that kind of harden a little bit and then started decorating it. So you want to make sure you get right up next to the edge and fill in all of the cracks and then just go ahead and fill it all in. Now I do like to stay in the circular motion so if any of this doesn't blend perfectly then it still kind of has the like little swirly shape but mine like completely melted together. Now I will say I think I, I wish I would have let my paint dry a little bit extra. I feel like it made my hot glue a little bit cloudy but um, it still worked out really well. Like I mentioned, you can use the hot tool or a heating gun to kind of melt this down and like really fuse together. And then it was the fun time to come in with my marshmallows. I stuck a little candy cane in the middle and this looks so fun. It looks like floating hot cocoa with marshmallows. Now I just stuck the marshmallows on there, but then I discovered if you kind of cut off the backs of them, they lay a little bit more flat and it looks like they're actually floating in this cocoa or hot glue and it looks really cool. So this was so fun. Everyone absolutely loved it whenever they saw it, but it looks like a realistic kind of like unique uh, hot cocoa mug that'll be so cute for a cocoa bar or tiered tray. Now I wanted to put some words on here and I already had these letters on hand. Use whatever you have if you have a Cricut or just regular letters but I saw this cool mom at the bottom and I knew this could spell cocoa if I used a couple of them and then stole the A from dad and these are kind of like Ray Dunn inspired looking stickers that did come from the Dollar Tree so they worked out perfect. I just didn't have the letters to spell hot so I just hand drew that with a paint marker 
but I love this. I love that pop of red. I really wanted to enhance the red, so I did add a little red bow to the side, and I love this little like checkered print the Dollar Tree has out. But super, super cute and fun and something I know I'll have fun with displaying year after year. It was a little bit cloudy, but like I mentioned, I think that was just because I didn't let the paint completely dry. Using the brown mug, I filled it up with some styrofoam. I just had these styrofoam balls on hand. But I've made these using these wooden circle pieces. Now any wood circle that would fit in here would work. I just found these ornament um, pieces. I think they're called ornament, like a wreath ornament from Dollar Tree. They had these all the time last year. And using some more spackle. Like I mentioned, you can use Dollar Tree spackle. But once again, I'm using this pink that dries into white. And, they act, and it actually worked in my favor because you can see the pink details a lot better on camera rather than if I was just putting white on white. Now the key to this, and I think I forgot to mention this in the first project, is to mix the spackling with a little bit of water, especially this Walmart kind because it was really, really thick. But um, even the Dollar Tree kind, just water it down a tiny bit. You don't want it to be too wet or your like design won't hold up. But I put this in a star tip and icing bag and just had so much fun just icing it like a regular cupcake or anything. I felt like it looked too perfect so I went back in and gave it more of a messy look just to look a little bit more realistic. And once again using these little candy canes I picked up at Walmart. Walmart has so many cute like little miniature ornaments and it works perfect for projects just like this. And then I feel like the glitter adding that white glitter really covers all of the imperfections. And then added once again a little candy cane as well as some of this like Dollar Tree. It's called tubing or tube confetti, but it works perfect. It looks like real sprinkles. You just have to press it down into the spackling. Of course, I had to create a fun little snowman, so I painted the inside of this mug white, and then I was able just to decorate the outside with his little face, and I love to use the back of my paintbrushes just to get the circular shape. I feel like it's a lot easier than actually using the bristles. For the carrot nose, you can actually use like four dots and make them go from like biggest to smallest and then kind of blend them together. And then I painted the handle, added some little eyelashes, once again a little dot for the eye. And I really didn't know how I was going to use this snowman, but I ended up putting a little floral arrangement, just some Christmas pics in there, and I think it's super cute. And then every time that I use these clear mugs, I always think of fun gift ideas that you can actually give to someone. So if you pick up some hot cocoa, I like to just pick up the inexpensive kind from Walmart in these huge cans and put it in some food safe bags. I pick this up in like the cake decorating section at Walmart, fill it full of cocoa and then put some marshmallows. I like to use these mini marshmallows at the top, tie it with some really cute ribbon and just set it down inside these mugs. It's a fun, easy gift idea. You could personalize the outside of the mug. I didn't want to do a lot to the mug itself because I want them to be able to remove the ribbon and actually be able to use it and just not let them have to worry about taking care of it or hand washing it or whatever. I know that sometimes you can use like sharpies to customize these and bake them. I did tie the first one and then I didn't like how short the little like tie was so I do um, make the second one a little bit longer but I love this mesh ribbon to really fill in the bottom. It gives it that extra pop of red color and make these like really cute coordinating gifts. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which of these mugs was your favorite. I had an absolute blast putting them together. Please leave me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.